OK, so the second example, the example here, we've got a darts player practices throwing a dart at the bullseye on a darts board. Independently, for each throw, her probabilities of hitting the bullseye is 0.2. Let x be the number of throws she makes up to and including her first success. I'm going to jump to part B to start with. Write down the distribution of x and give the name of the distribution. OK, so x is geometric. OK? Uh, well, we'll do B first of all, sort of thing. Write down the distribution. It's geometric. Well, let's just finish this bit off. If it's geometric, what's going to go in the bracket for this question? 0.2. 0.2. So what is x actually referring to here? The number of throws you get to hit your first ball. Number first of ball. throws up to and including Hitting your, first ball. your first bullseye. Yeah. So, part A of the question was, find the probability she is successful on the third throw. So in notation, what's that? E x equals 3. Yeah. Okay. Which is going to be failure twice, followed by success. You should do that one without a calculator. 0.8 squared. 0.16. No. 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 0 0.64. 0 0.64. 64 times by 2. Get 0 0.128. 0 0.128. Correct. Okay. And it wasn't even a human calculator. Callum that told us that one. Sorry, Callum. I haven't been a human calculator for ages now, Callum. No. Right. So we've done part A. We've done part B. Part C. Find the probability she will have at least three failures. The probability she will have at least three failures. What's that in notation? Yeah, X is greater than or equal to four because it's three failures. It's greater than three. No, X is greater than three. It's greater than three. At least that's not including three. Correct. It's not including three, so it's going to be X is greater than four. X is greater than four. X is greater than or equal to four. X is greater than or equal to four. Yeah, at least three failures means you need at least four goes to get your first attempt. And we're counting when the first attempt can be. So it's X is greater than or equal to four. X. Or what's another way of writing that down? X is greater than four. Because if we write it down like that. Yeah. We can use what we had earlier. What do we have for the probability x is greater than r? 1 minus p to the power of r. OK. So in this question, 1 minus p is 0 0.8. r here is 3. So it's 0 0.64 times by 8. Anybody know the powers of 2? 0.512. It is 0.512. And part D of this question, show the mean value of x is 5. The mean of the geometric? 1 over p. 1 over p. Yeah. OK. So here we've got 1 over 0 0.2, which is 1 over 1 fifth. So yes, it is equal to 5. Which brings us then on to our golfer question from 1996. Arnold, a golfer. Who's into golf here? Yeah, maybe. So boring. Jordan Spieth. Famous golfer <laughs> called Arnold? Oh, Arnold. 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 Anyway, here we go. Arnold is a golfer and believes that once his ball reaches the green, there's a probability of a quarter he will get the ball into the hole on each subsequent shot. The random variable x represents the number of shots Arnold requires to get the ball into the hole after he gets the ball onto the green. Calculate the probability that x is at least 4 and some other things as well. So, if we look at this golfing question, the question about the golfer, what's probably the first thing to write down then for this question? Uh, P equals foot by quarter. 
P equals a quarter, and X then is G O a quarter. Is G O a quarter? And part A of the question in words was saying, calculate the probability that X is at least four. What will that be in notation? Greater than or equal to. Yeah, at least four. Go on, Catherine. Greater than or equal to four. Yeah, they said what's probability at least four. So that is at least four. Is there another way that we could write that? X is greater three. than three. X is greater than three. And then we can use our x is greater than r being 1 minus p to the r formula. So 1 minus p in this question? Um, it's, yeah. it's 3 quarters. 3 quarters. To the power of 3. To the power of 3. 3 times 3 times 3? 27. 27. 4 times 4 times 4? 64. 64. Okay, there we go for that one. Part B, write down E of X. Oh, sorry, too many brackets there. Write that down. E. Write down E of X. What's that about? What's e? The expected value of it. It means the same as the mean. Oh, okay, right. so if you see that, you'd read that as the expected value of X. It's the same as the mean of X. Yeah, why is it 4? Because it's 1 over a quarter, which is 1 Yeah, times because three. it's 1 over P, so it's 1 over a quarter, it's 4. Part C, state, so there's a clue in the word state, you haven't got to do much work. State the mode of X. Um, one. 1. 1, because it's always 1 <laughs> oh, it's for a geometric. The mode is always 1, we had that earlier on. That's nice. Part D, comment on any likely inadequacies oh, in Arnold's yeah. model. There are so many. <laughs> well, give us one, Callum. How does what? he know it's a quarter? Um, like, as he gets close to the hole, surely the chance of him putting it in the hole is going to get a lot bigger. I would have thought so, yeah. I thought well, that's the obvious one, yeah, okay. As he get, each putt should <laughs> take it closer to the hole. And then, <laughs> if you're getting closer to the hole... Your probability of succeeding should increase. So, um, P being constant, I would say is not realistic, as each putt should take you closer to the hole, and that, as you get closer to the hole, I would think that P should therefore increase and not be constant. I think that is the most obvious criticism you can make of Arnold's assumptions.